Hello everyone, and welcome back. Guys, we all know in most of the cases, users may want to extend the C drive with the unallocated space. Because the C drive is easy to get full and shows a red bar in Windows File Explorer, users will receive a low disk space warning now and then. In this case, allocating the unallocated space to the C drive to make it larger is really necessary. So, in this video, I will guide you to complete this task step by step. Don't miss it. Behind this, we all know, disk management, which is inbuilt on Windows, where users can be able to use it to add unallocated space to the C drive. But still, the option is grayed out due to the partitions which are present before the unallocated disk. Even we can't be able to merge these small partitions to the space. Even if I create new disk volume, still no use of it. Even if your unallocated disk is present left to the system disk, same you can't extend. Only works if you want to extend the partition right to the next partition. If this method doesn't work for you, don't worry. You can turn to Tenorshare's 4D Dig Partition Manager, an all-in-one disk partition manager where you're able to migrate Windows OS to SSD without reinstalling system with one click. You can clone your entire hard disk to backup data. You can effortlessly repair, recover, and restore partition from your PC or other storage devices. And there are a lot others. With this software, you can able to do a lot. This software comes with advanced disk management, where you can easily manage, move, or create partitions easily with this tool. And there are a lot more others to talk. Now just simply head over to download section. You can actually try it for free. So download and install. And there we go, guys. We are on the main interface. On side, we got some options. Clone disk feature. With this, you can able to copy data from one disk to other disk, or you can copy one partition to other partition. Migrate tool. For the people who want to migrate Windows system without reinstallation to a newer SSD while retaining the original system data. Convert disk. Here, you can able to convert disk to MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR for Windows update without any data loss. Partition management and the partition recovery. You can create WinPE, recover partition, repair partition, and you can repair boot of EFI or MBR as well. Okay, now let's jump into the main part, as my review is based on partition management. So here, as you can see, so this is my system disk partition, and this is unallocated space. Here, I want to add unallocated space to system disk to extend the system space. So here, simply select the unallocated part, create as new disk partition. New disk D gets created. Here on front, there are two unknown partitions. These basically contains old system EFE files that are currently not in use. Simply select unallocated partition. Select merge. Here I want to merge D drive to those smaller partitions. Or if you have any unused partition in the middle, you can even delete it. As you can see, it got merged. In the same way, I will merge with one. All right, guys. Now our D drive is now on side to system drive C. Now here you can extend or shrink partition. Here I want to extend drive C to the D partition. Simply allocate the memory you want to add to the C. Now select Execute. It applies all the settings we configured. As you can see, the process got started. Here it will ask to restart system in order to fix partitions. The native process gets started while on boot state to make sure that each system disk partitions are in okay state or not. All right guys, system got booted. Now let's check out this PC. And as you guys can see, the system disk got extended with the additional space that we allocated from disk D. Now no more storage full issues. If you want to extend more, you can. You can also check disk health state temperature. And there are some additional options. Like you can migrate Windows OS or larger files onto newer SSD. You can also convert disks from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR as I mentioned earlier. You can clone disks or partitions. Just select the source disk and choose the target disk or partition to clone. Coming to partition recovery, you can be able to recover your deleted formatted files on partitions as well, which is very useful. You can even repair partition or repair boot partitions of EFI MBR files. Hopefully, you can be able to fix the system disk full issue. So, for cloning, migration, optimization, and managed disk partitions, we strongly recommend to use 4D Dig Partition Manager. That's it for today's video, guys. Also, subscribe to our channel for more useful tips. See you next time.